Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. This is another episode from our Loot Crate series, the little mini-series that we've got going on. I'm here again with my buddy here, Geek. Hi everyone. And uh, we've got another box in. And this is our second one from the Loot Anime series. And uh, of course we've got Geek here to help us out with some of this in terms of uh, some of the anime stuff that I don't really know a whole lot about. I know a little bit, but she knows a whole lot more. So let's uh, see about getting this open and find out what we've got inside. All right, everybody. Well, we've got our uh, assortment of things here. And just like last time, the box has a design on it. The interesting thing about it this time is it literally is made to be turned inside out because of the way the tabs and everything are. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that around. And uh, Geek, why don't you go ahead and pick one of the first things here that you'd like to talk about? First off, I'll go with uh, this since it was in the top of the box. It's a, a cell phone stand for an anime, uh, Knights of Sidonia. So Knights of Sidonia is about a sort of dystopian future. It's far, far in the future where uh, there's an alien race, uh, shapeshifters, and they have destroyed our Earth. So humans have fled to the stars and across the galaxy and there's the spaceship, Sidonia, which obviously is in the name. And uh, there are a few aliens trying to siege this ship and get rid of the rest of humanity. There are heroes that rise in their mech suits. And uh, the anime is about their struggle of uh, fighting these aliens. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, and let's see, what's, does it show? Why don't we? Well, it that's the thing on it. Is that what the? Let's take a look inside. I want to see what it looks like. All right. Okay, so cell phone stand, and let's take a look here. Oh, it's got a couple pieces. All right, so it shows this. Uh, looks, I, I think this is the mech suit here. Uh, that she was talking about and then you've got the the little placard piece here that goes on the bottom so it looks like they slide together and then uh, you can set it like that and then you can go ahead and set your phone right down in the front of it there so it just sets there and and on top of that I mean you could sit there and actually just have this as a nice little uh, display piece on your desk or uh, on your uh, dresser or something like that and it's uh it's kind of nice that way you got a little piece of uh merch there to to kind of display so let's go ahead and move that over and uh while she was while she was describing that i went ahead and finished the box and this is the box what it looks like when you have it turned inside out uh it makes me think of i think one of the other pieces here that we've got ah there we go voltron uh, now, I actually know about Voltron. I watched Voltron when I was younger, and uh, of course they've remade it a few times. Uh, and basically it's about a big robot that's made from a bunch of lions, mechanical lions. These guys get inside these mechanical lions, there's five of them, and they each come together. You've got uh, a lion for each arm, a lion for each leg, and then you've got the center lion uh, that forms the body and the head. Uh, and this is, what is this? Is, what is that? Is it a it's pin? It's a pin. Oh, it's a pin. Okay. It's a collector's pin. Oh, okay. And I'm assuming it is of one of the heroes in sort Looks... of coming out of one of the tiger's mouths. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that part. Oh, yeah. So that's the that's Voltron himself, and that's when the mouth opens up on the lion. So, which is kind of strange because to see it like this, if you guys actually watch Voltron. Um, the lion that has the head and everything is actually the black lion, and they're showing this as the yellow lion. So I don't know if that that's just because the of the remake. special. What's that? That might be changed in the remake. Oh, I watched the remake. Did you? Yeah, I watched part of the remake, and in the remake, it was it was still a black lion, and um, and uh, but maybe this is part of the fact that this is a collector's edition. Now uh, on the back here, it does say that this is supposed to be based off of the Netflix edition, which is the the current remake 
of it but it's kind of neat because it's uh, it, it slides up and when it's down it looks like just the mouth uh, open a little bit but then the top of the mouth slides up and you can see the rest of the face there to see what uh, Voltron actually looks like but uh, that's kind of cool let's get the the biggest one out of the way too because this kind of is going to take up a lot of space but this of course is just like what we had in the last one we got the uh, the poster here and of course this is taking up a huge amount of space mm -hmm. here which one is this? This is uh, Rise Up, I think. Is that what they they were saying this was, I think? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, looks like. And you've got a couple of the characters there up in the top corner and uh, and everything. I'm going to see if we can get that. And then you've got, like, the big main kind of thing right there. And, and of course, this is about, uh, you know, the generalized idea is about if you band together and everything, uh, you can... You can uh, rise up to the challenges that you end up facing. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead. We've got four more of them. Which uh, which one do you want to pick next? Well, seeing as how we just did the poster, we might as well do the charm as well. This is a little mecha kitty charm from Rise Up. And uh, when the universe needs, I suppose, defense, uh, this kitten, you may. Uh, gets in her suit and fights evil, <laughs> fights I suppose. Evil. <laughs> okay, okay. That's pretty neat. So we've got a mechanized kitty charm for your for your phone. So there's another one. It seems to be a common thing in the uh, the loot crates here so far. Um, just like the pin, uh, the charm seems to be kind of a common thread. And uh, that's that's kind of kind of a neat little thing, a little cyber mech. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and stay with the small stuff right now. Uh, I know I'm kind of picking them out this time. Um, it, uh, let's see, we've got this little one, and uh, it's, I'm trying to remember, I think I remember this being from another one of these like post-apocalyptic things that has like mechs and stuff like that. Um, do you know what the name of the show for this one is? Uh, the series it comes from is Neon Genesis Evangelion, okay. if I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right. Uh, as far as I know, it's in a post-apocalyptic world in the future, and it's based in Tokyo as Oh, okay. I didn't remember that. Okay. And uh, there are these monsters attacking this world, and the main character, uh, Shinji, if I remember correctly, is recruited by his father to fight these monsters in a mech suit. Okay, huh. So there we go, another another mech uh, based one and you've got the little, I'm guessing this is probably the the main character there um, and uh, you know you've got his little his little plushie there. Um, Want to pick one of those too? I mean you got the shirt or the mag manga? I'll go with the shirt. So. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. I like that. So, as you can probably see from the name on the t-shirt, this is from something called Blame. Blame is another technological-based sort of anime series, okay. and it's about um, this main character, Killy, in this world that they call the city. It's um, about Killy trying to find these uh, genetic markers and with these markers he'd be able to access the mainframe that runs the city and try and save the what's left of humanity we've got this um, one here this another it looks like another manga here and uh, actually from the looks of it it's an art book for this TV show and what an art book is, is it contains a bunch of different pieces from the creators and other people who pitch in of characters from the show, scenes from the show, and things of that sort. Oh. Uh, they're very common, not in just anime and manga, but video games and s things of that sort as well. Oh, okay. Well, I, I just thought it was another manga because <laughs> it was, you know, another book. But, uh, all right, well... All right, guys. Well, we made uh, 
pretty quick work of this. We've got a handful of stuff. We've got the book and the t-shirt. We've got the charm and the pin and the little plushie, the phone stand. And of course, you've got that, uh, that box that you could reuse by and make it decorative by taking and folding it inside out. I think, uh, I think that pretty well covers it. Uh, I uh, obviously, of course, appreciate Geek's help here. This uh, helps me a lot since I don't know mm -hmm. about all of these. I mean, I knew about Voltron on this one and a little bit about the others, kind of the premise behind them, but not a whole lot. So definitely want to say thanks to Geek. Uh, if you guys want to check out the Loot Anime uh, collection or the uh, Loot Anime uh, link it's going to be down there in the description below and of course down along with that is going to be our social media uh, here for World of Me and of course while you're on your way down there don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and uh, there'll be a little icon floating around that's going to be right over here uh, and that's going to be the World of Me logo you click on that and that'll help you to get subscribed to the channel and uh, don't forget to go down there and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified for when we've got new videos coming out. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today on this uh, episode from the Loot Crate series, the anime version. Uh, my name is Cougar with my friend here, Geek. And uh, we will see you guys later. And have a good day. Bye. Bye.